All right, so today I wanted to do an update of my most popular video, which is how to migrate your OS from OneDrive to another. I know a lot of people have issues with Minitool. Um, again, we're using older versions of the software. It comes with its own problems. Sometimes it doesn't work. There's multiple versions to use. I did a secondary video with RescueZilla, and I know that that one is a little bit more intimidating because it requires you to create boot media and go into a less user-friendly kind of interface. So that's fine. Someone had mentioned a new software called Disk Genius. So we're gonna be using that one today. I'm gonna to show you how to use it. Um, we're going to go through the whole process. I'm gonna be going from a larger drive to a smaller drive because that seems to be the most common way that a lot of people who watched the previous videos were kind of going about it. They were going from a larger hard drive to a smaller SSD. And I also want to keep some things in mind. So doing this migration should only be done when you're just trying to move your OS from one drive to another. This should not be used when trying to go from machine to machine, um, from a desktop to another desktop, a desktop to a laptop, etc. Reason for that is if you're doing significant hardware changes, that can cause a lot of issues in terms of drivers and just a whole bunch of ways that Windows interfaces with different pieces of hardware within your computer. So this is not recommended for any kind of situations like that. This is just recommended from switching from one drive to another within the same machine. So do please keep that in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that the comment section is not a good place to get help. If you do need help, you can go ahead and head to the Discord. You can search for previous questions that have been asked in case yours has already been brought up. You can see what I've told other people. Um, and then you can go ahead and make a post in the help desk. Do not post this in the general, do not post this in any other, any other channels, post it in the help desk and I'll try to get to them all as quick as I can. Also, if you do have an issue, the first place you should look is the description or the pinned comment. On the last video, I tried to keep both of those as up to date as often as possible, answering all of the most frequently asked questions. I even made a video on the frequently asked questions and 99% of the comments on the video saying that someone was having an issue were answered in the description or the pinned comment. I even edited the title to say read the description and tons of people didn't do that. So please check that out. You know, all of the comments about it not being free was incorrect because they just weren't following my instructions. A whole bunch of other things. If you're having issues, read the description in the pinned comment first and then go to the Discord if you need additional help. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is that this is gonna copy your entire C drive. There's no such thing as copying just Windows or migrating just Windows. I saw a lot of comments about that. When you're migrating Windows, it's gonna migrate the whole C drive. Windows as a whole is a lot more than just the Windows folder. Uh, a lot of things on the C drive are required for Windows to work. So this process does copy the entire C drive. Do keep that in mind. Now, along those same lines, the total used space of your C drive and the system partitions, but you don't usually have to worry about those because their combined size is usually less than one gigabyte. Anyway, so they're not as important, but the total use space of your C drive has to be less than the total capacity of the drive that you're gonna be copying to. So if you're copying to a drive that's 500 gigabytes, your used space on your C drive has to be less than 500 gigabytes or else you're gonna run into issues. The tool is not gonna be able to compress that data down. And I do have a video where I talk about ways to make your C drive smaller in order to do these kinds of migrations, uh, moving around some small things. So if you do wanna check that out, I will leave that linked in the description. But again, make sure that the total use space of your C drive is less than the capacity of the destination drive. And a final disclaimer, I am not responsible to what happens to your data. You're always gonna be taking a risk when doing any kind of migration or copying data or moving data from one drive to another, but that's why it's super important to always keep some kind of backup. Again, you are taking a risk when doing this. It is greatly mitigated by using tools like this, however. Just do keep in mind, I'm not responsible for anything that happens. If things do happen to your data, I will try to help if I can, but I cannot be held responsible. Now with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into the process here. So first, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to download Disk Genius. You just go to diskgenius.com. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead, do their free download. It's a very easy installation process. Now, once you do that, you can go ahead and launch Disk Genius. And once it loads up, we should be able to see our drives here. Now we can see that this is my larger drive. This is the current drive that the OS is on. And then we have this smaller drive here. I made a partition. You don't have to make a partition if it doesn't have one, 
but I made a quick partition here. Won't be here long, kind of spoiling the story here. Um, and we'll be moving from this drive to this one. So as long as we go ahead, we're gonna go do our OS migration. We're gonna select our target disk. So our disk is gonna be the team. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. It is gonna tell us that it is going to delete everything on that drive. So do keep this in mind. You cannot migrate the OS using this tool onto a drive that has data on it. It's gonna wipe all that data off. So if you do have data that you wanna keep, you have to either have to move it over to the current OS drive and then it'll get copied back over or move it to something like an external drive or on a cloud, and then you can put it back on that drive if you need to. So there we go. And then it's just gonna go ahead and show the layouts. So it's gonna show what the current layout is, what it's gonna look like on the target disk. I'm not gonna change anything here. And then one of the unique parts about Disk Genius is that you can have it automatically set the new boot onto the new drive. I've done it and it worked pretty well. I prefer going into the BIOS myself and adjusting things manually. I'm gonna do that for this video because it's a little bit easier for me to show. Um, I can show a little bit more here, but if you want, you can do the automatically set. I've done this process maybe about five or six times now with this tool, and half of those I did it with it being automatic, and it did a pretty good job. It had no issues. The only problem is it doesn't set a backup drive. So once you unplug the drive that you're copying to, for whatever reason, you're not gonna be able to boot, you're gonna have to go into the BIOS anyways. So I am gonna show it in the manual process, but you can use the automatic here. And all you gotta do next is press start. Again, it's gonna remind us, it's gonna overwrite all that data. We're gonna press okay. And this is where another big choice is going to be made. You can either do a hot migration or you can reboot to Windows PE. A hot migration is basically copying snapshots while the system is running in order to do the copy. Rebooting to Windows PE creates a Windows pre-installation kind of environment that you can use to do the copying. This is the way that I prefer. You could do the hop migration. I just don't trust it nearly as much because it is copying a live active system. I'd much rather and be more comfortable doing it from the Windows PE. Now, if you select this, and it says that you do not have the PE, it will tell you a couple of words on how to go ahead and download the Windows PE information. Um, it's just an EXE that you gotta download. It's gonna install all the prerequisite files so that it can go into the system. But I already had it on here and it's part of Windows, so usually it will be there no problem, just sometimes it might not. You may have to quickly download. Um, now it's gonna tell us it's gonna restart. So I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. And it's gonna reboot into that Windows PE environment. Now, once it goes into that PE environment, it's going to start Disk Genius automatically and it's gonna start the whole process. So you don't have to touch it between now and when it restarts the whole process. When we next come back after this whole process is finished, we'll be in the BIOS because that's what I selected. If you choose the automatically set boot from migrated target system, it's gonna automatically reboot into the new drive and we will kind of get back to that same point. I'll leave a timestamp if you choose that option. Um, but if you're gonna do the manually enter the BIOS or if you wanna just man turn this off entirely and enter the BIOS yourself when you restart, that's totally cool too. We'll come back when we're back into the BIOS and this whole process is finished. And we're back in the BIOS. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, since I'm doing the manual process, I'm gonna go to the boot. I am gonna change my boot manager to the team drive. Now you wanna make sure that you choose the one that says Windows Boot Manager. On most BIOSes, it's gonna say Windows Boot Manager because there are multiple partitions happening here. Make sure you select the right one. Getting into your boot menu in your BIOS is gonna be different depending on the manufacturer. So you may have to just quickly Google that. It's very, very simple though. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and change this one. And now what I wanna do is I wanna set the backup to be my ADATA one, just in case for whatever reason, the team drive boot doesn't work. Um, I at least get into Windows and then I can go ahead and check some things out. 
but it's going to boot into the team, which is the new drive first. And we're going to go ahead, save and exit and save and exit setup. And we should boot now into Windows. So we're back into Windows. We're just gonna go ahead and log in. We're gonna double check our work. We wanna make sure that it copied the drive over properly. We wanna make sure that it copied everything the way that we want it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my file explorer. We'll see now that the local C drive is 446 gigs. So that is the team drive and the D drive is now 953 gigs. If we do, if we want, we can do a quick property check. We can see that it's using 276 gigs on the C drive and it's using about 281 on the D drive. There's probably gonna be a little bit of a difference there. Shouldn't be anything significant, but before you wipe the old drive, if that's what you're gonna do, double check, make sure that you have all the data that you want off of it, anything from your C drive, the users, all that kind of stuff, get that all off. And then you can go ahead and use either uh, Windows or another tool like Minitool or any of those kinds of things to go ahead and wipe the old drive and now you have your old drive back. And yeah, that's it. Disk Genius is a very easy piece of software to use. This is definitely out of all the videos I've made on these kinds of processes so far, the easiest one to use that is free. So I am very grateful for the commenter that mentioned it. I will leave a screenshot of their comment right up here. And yeah, I mean, I really do hope that this video helped you out. I hope that it helps show you the process. Again, if you do have any questions, make sure you go to the Discord, search for your problem first, and then if not, you can go ahead and make a post in the help desk, and I'll try to help you out. But with this program, I don't think many people should be having as many issues, and I really do hope it helps you out. I do hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave those down, down in the comment section below. Again, if it's relating to this whole process, go ahead and make a post in the help desk in the discord big thanks to my patreon sponsors lots time and step back and thank you for watching to the end of this video if you do want to see any of the other videos relating to migrating your os like cleaning up your c drive or a bunch of other small things you know reinstalling windows from scratch you can check out the playlist right up here and as always stay safe out there i'll see you next time